Hey guys, in this video I'm going to present ITSO 2024 problem 3. Firstly, we'll take a look at the problem statement. Let d be a positive integer that is not a perfect square. We define for any positive integer n, s of n to be the number of ones among the first n binary digits of the square root of d. We are asked to prove that there exists an integer n0 such that for any n greater than or equal to n0, we have s of n greater than square root of 2n minus 2. The problem statement gives a good idea on how to start with this problem. Namely, if we square the square root of d, we get d again, which is an integer. Therefore, if we cut off this number square root of d after its first n binary digits, then after squaring, we get something that is slightly smaller than d. A number that is slightly smaller than an integer must have a lot of consecutive ones after the point in its binary representation. Therefore, if we square the first n binary digits of square root of d, we get something with a lot of ones in its binary representation, which should already imply that the first n binary digits of square root of d can't have too few ones in its representation as well. So let us start by giving this number consisting of the first n binary digits of square root of d a name. To do that, we first need to define k as an integer, which should be the number of digits of square root of d before the point. Whenever we make a definition in terms of words, like we did here for k, we want to also have a formal definition if possible. And here we notice that the first binary digit of square root of d is a 1. And the, this first digit gives us a 2 to the power of k minus 1 for the value of square root of d. And therefore, square root of d must lie in the interval from 2 to the power of k minus 1 up to, but not including, 2 to the power of k. Now we can define t as the number consisting of the first n binary digit of the square root of d. If n and k are equal, then t will just be the floor of square root of d. And this brings us to the general formula that t is just the floor of square root d times 2 to the power of n minus k divided by 2 to the power of n minus k. The square root of d is equal to t plus alpha, where we know that since the square root of d is irrational, alpha is greater than 0. And it is also less than 2 to the power of k minus n. On the other hand, we can write t as the sum of i going from 1 to l of 2 to the power of ai, where the ai are distinct. And l is equal to s of n, the number of ones in the binary representation of t. The first line tells us that t squared is equal to d minus epsilon, where epsilon is positive and equal to 2 square root d alpha minus alpha squared, which is less than 2 times 2 to the power of k times 2 to the power of k minus n. Hence, t squared has at least the negative of this exponent, which is n minus 2k minus 1, once after the point. On the other hand, t squared equals the sum of i going from 1 to l of 2 to the power of 2 times ai plus the sum of 1 less than or equal to i less than j less than or equal to l of 2 to the power of 1 plus ai plus aj. In the best case, all of these sums are pairwise distinct and therefore t squared has at most l plus l choose 2 number of ones in its binary representation. All in all, n minus 2k minus 1 is less than or equal to this term, which equals l squared plus l over 2, which we generously bound from above by l plus 1 all squared divided by 2. Now we recall that we simply defined l as s of n, and therefore Rearranging gives us that s of n plus 1 is equal to l plus 1, which is greater than 2 times n minus 4k minus 2, and then the square root of all of this. 
if we choose n large enough, which we are allowed by taking a suitable n0, then this will be greater than the square root of square root 2n minus 1 all squared, which is simply equal to square root of 2n minus 1. Subtracting 1 from both sides yields the desired result, and therefore we are done.